today is Monday and I decided I wanted to do a work week in my life vlog. I'm going to be doing a vlog for the entire week this week. I've never done that before so I'm hoping it turns out okay. I had a rough morning this morning because I was at Sam's house and I couldn't find my car keys. I was looking for them for like an hour before I finally found them outside in the yard like on their outdoor table. I didn't get clocked into work until like 8 45 this morning and I normally clock in at like 8 or earlier so I was pretty late so now I have to work later but yeah I thought it might be fun to just do like a work week in my life. My job is hybrid remote so I work from home three days a week and then I go into the office two days so I go in on Tuesday and Friday. Right now I'm on my morning break. I get a 15 minute pay break every morning at 10 a.m. Just made some coffee. <laughs> I'm done with work for the day and I just took a shower since I didn't have a chance to this morning. So right now I'm just putting on some of my skincare. I use the Curology Rich Moisturizer on most days. After my moisturizer, I put on some Shea Moisture Body Lotion all over my body. Then I put this Innisfree Green Tea Serum on my face and I use this Sephora Eye Cream. It's supposed to brighten the under eye area. I'm not really sure if I notice a difference though, but it does feel hydrating. And now I'm putting on this Pumpkin Spice Latte deodorant because we've got a Keep those pits smelling fresh, ladies. So I'm cooking dinner right now. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it today, so I'm just going to make something quick and easy. So I got this Japanese-style fried rice from Trader Joe's yesterday. It is vegan, so I think that'll be an easy thing to cook up. And then I'm probably just going to cook some tofu in my air fryer. And because I'm really hungry, I'm also having a snack right now. I got the inner peas, they're called, from Trader Joe's. They're also vegan. They're only $1.79. Very good. rice has edamame, seaweed, and carrots. I really like this rice. Definitely recommend you pick some up. And the tofu didn't turn out bad either. I used like a vegan parmesan flavored nutritional yeast and some kind of Istanbul spice blend that I bought from Whole Foods. Okay, so I just brought up my fall and winter sweaters from the basement and then I put a bin of my summer clothes down there and I also need to clean up my room a bit. As you can see, my night table is very messy, but I got this light up pumpkin from Rite Aid, which is a drugstore by me. It's kind of like a Walgreens. I got this for only $3.40, I want to say. I love that it lights up. And also, from Rite Aid, I bought these wax melts for $2.50. They're pumpkin donut scented. It smells so good in my room right now using these. This is my wax melter. I think I got this from Walmart a few years ago. It works pretty well. It just has like a little light bulb in here. So it warms up and melts the wax. Lots of fall vibes going on in here right now. And this is my little tom nook that sam got me okay, so anyway i received some packages in the mail today i got this order from shein so i do have to get rid of a lot of my fall and winter clothes i'm going to be selling some stuff on poshmark and then donating the rest i did need to order some new uh basics i feel like i'm missing a lot of basic pieces in my wardrobe so i got a lot of neutral colored things for fall and winter i'm really excited can look cute this fall and winter i live in new york so it gets super cold i'm actually really happy because the past couple of days it's been the 70s and it's late october right now so that's super unusual for new york at this time of the year so i've been really enjoying like the last bit of sun that i can get before the long winter anyway i'm probably going to be doing a haul with this tomorrow. I'm not going to film it today because I prefer to do it in natural lighting and it's dark out right now. It's like 8 o'clock. I will give you a little sneak peek though. 
of one of the items I got. This shipped in like a separate package, so I was wearing it earlier today. Came a little earlier this morning. I got this really cute knit black cardigan. I think this cardigan was around $20. It has these cute little buttons. I love them. And it fits me perfectly. It's like it's like the perfect amount of oversized without being so baggy that it looks like I'm wearing someone else's clothes. Yeah, this is the sweater. Really cute. I love the sleeves. Like, oh my gosh. It's so comfy too. And it's warm without making me overheated because I often get hot flashes even in the winter. It's like the perfect amount of warmth and the perfect size. I love it. It'll be a great basic to pair with all my outfits. Okay, and then the other package I got was from Amazon. I got my Halloween costume in the mail. I'm going to be a Silent Hill nurse for Halloween. So I'm really excited. I feel like it's going to be so spooky and cool. You know what, though? I thought it came with the face mask, and it doesn't. So I'm probably going to have to buy one or make my own. That's a bummer. They had it on in the picture, so I thought it came with it. Oh, my gosh. I will try this on for you guys to see the fit. Okay, so I got my costume on. It actually fits me really well, so I'm happy about that. But this is the dress. It's so cute. It's not already blood-stained. I don't know why I'm so out of breath right now. Like, I didn't even do anything. I just walked up and down the stairs. But anyway, um, it came with that nurse hat. I'm really excited, though, to do the gauze mask, actually. I think that's going to be fun. I still have to buy, um, like some white pumps to wear with this too because the nurses do wear heels. So I think I'm gonna order a pair off of Amazon. I was gonna get these ones. I feel like these kind of look like nurse-like shoes. I'm not really sure what I'm doing for Halloween weekend. I might try to find some kind of Halloween party to go to on Saturday or like in a Halloween event, but I know some of my friends are going out on Friday to a local bar called Resurgence. They're having a silent disco. The only thing is I don't know how I feel about silent discos. I feel like I'm going to be very annoyed by like wearing headphones the entire night and also I don't really understand silent discos I'm like how do you talk to people if you have headphones on there's like three different channels on it so like everyone's listening to different music so it's like you can't really dance I don't know we'll see if I go to that on Friday or not but if not we'll probably find something to do on Saturday because I want to wear my costume out somewhere try this spice chai concentrate that I got from Trader Joe's. It's my first time trying it. Okay, I'm gonna try the chai. Hmm, it's pretty good. I used less than the bottle said because the back of the bottle said one serving was four ounces, but that had like 20 grams of sugar, which is a little sweet for me. I don't really like really sugary drinks, so I used about two ounces. So it was only 10 grams of sugar, and then I used the Planet Oat Milk in the vanilla flavor, and that was unsweetened. It's a good fall drink. Wednesday and I didn't film much yesterday. I was kind of having a hard day yesterday So we're just gonna forget about that and try again today. I look like a mess right now I need to shower so I didn't shower yet today because I'm working from home It's been really busy for me at work lately So I had a lot of work to do this morning and I have a lot of work to get done this afternoon as well But right now I'm on my lunch break. I'm going to eat a leftover grain bowl that Sam made us for dinner last night I'm probably gonna take the dogs out too so that they can go to the bathroom and won't bother me once I'm clocked back in and then then later today, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I might try to find a foundation. Got our leftover bowl here. It's just tofu, quinoa, some vegetables like green beans, carrots, and also some air fried tofu. 
Sam always makes good dinners for me. For breakfast this morning, I had some of my mom's banana apple muffins. I love her homemade muffins. This is my pumpkin that I bought from the Christmas tree shop the other day. Still have to cut the tag off. It's so cute though, and I love squishing it. Right, so first we're taking Chuck out. He's our Beagle Basset Hound mix. He's our family dog, and Daisy is my personal dog. She's still inside though because they don't go to the bathroom if they're out here together. They like work each other up and get all hyper, so I take them out separately. So her turn's next. Chuck, don't eat whatever you're eating. Our backyard looks so pretty right now because all the leaves have fallen off the trees. I love it. I love walking through the leaves. Like the texture is just so satisfying. Fall is one of my favorite seasons. So this is my dog Daisy. She's a Shiba Inu. Both her and Chuck are about two years old. Just one look and I'd get caught too Cause there's something about you And you know it too All I do is think about you Your eyes, your scent, your touch is all I dream so I'm done with work for the day. I've been working later lately. I don't know if I mentioned because we've been really busy so I've been working overtime. But I got a new package in the mail from Amazon. I'm gonna open it. <laughs> okay, so my shoes didn't come yet but this liquid latex came. I was thinking about doing like a zombie Halloween makeup look for a video or for a real on Instagram so or for a YouTube short this must be the fake blood I ordered <laughs> wow they packaged this really well probably because they don't want the blood to leak on anything That's oh my gosh it did leak <laughs> well I'm gonna deal with this later because I have to go to the store but I got the stage blood from Mayron and yeah the entire bottle is leaking <laughs> at least they packaged it well so there weren't any mishaps I'm going to Kohl's right now because I want to see if they have a foundation in stock at the Sephora there. I'm looking for a Kosas foundation. I was going to order it online on the Sephora app, but I wasn't sure what shade I am because I've never tried that foundation before. So I'm hoping they carry that brand at Kohl's and I'm hoping they have my shade. So we'll see what they have. And then after that, I'm going to go to Sam's house and we're just going to hang out, maybe watch some Halloween movies, and I'm going to work on some editing. Okay, so I just got to Kohl's. I want to be in and out because I don't want to get over to Sam's house house too late so I'm gonna run in hopefully find what I'm looking for and be out in like five minutes is the game plan so hopefully it goes as planned <laughs> so I'm so proud of myself I was in and out of there so fast um I got my foundation I'm pretty sure I got a shade that matches me really well. I like tested it on the back of my hand. I got the light and cool one. The girl working at the Sephora, she said that I have really pink undertones, so one of the cool tone ones would be good. It's weird though, like I agree, I have really pink undertones on my face, but then I feel like my body has yellow undertones, so hopefully it still matches good. Because I did test it on the back of my hand and it seemed to match the back of my hand okay, so I'm hoping it looks good. And now I'm off to Sam's house. It looks like a brownie. <laughs> Khalifa or Khalifia Farms. It is so good. It's like the perfect fall creamer for your coffee. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. Taking the dogs on a little walk. 
I love the leaves. It's so beautiful. There's the creek. work for the day and I just ate dinner. I had a tuna sandwich because I'm trying to get more protein in my diet and I think I'm about to film my Sheen haul. This is the foundation I bought yesterday. It's the Kosa's Skin Improving Foundation. I'm really excited to try this because it has ingredients in it that are supposed to be good for your skin. I've never tried it, so I hope that like it goes well on my skin. But I have combination skin, so a lot of foundations don't work well for me because all this area is extremely dry. So like the foundation is too dry and heavy, it can really settle into my pores and fine lines and make me look really cakey. But then also I get super Super oily in my t-zone on my nose and like my forehead so if the foundation is too dewy I can start to look like an oil slick so I'm hoping this will be a good in-between for me I'm gonna try it on now I am NOT going out anywhere tonight but I really wanted to try this foundation out so I'm just gonna do my makeup for fun and also so I have makeup on in my sheen haul video this is what the bottle looks like okay before I do my foundation I'm actually gonna do my eyebrows and some eyeshadow first Not gonna lie, I had kind of a frustrating, whoops, a frustrating day at work today, but I'm ready to put it behind me and I'm really glad that tomorrow's Friday. I'm excited for Halloween weekend. Okay, I'm gonna try the foundation now. I'm just gonna do one pump. I'm hoping I got the right shade. We'll find out. So first impressions, I think this shade actually matches me really well. Um, my face is actually a lot paler than the rest of my body, so I feel like it is a good match to like my body skin tone because I don't like my face to look like three shades paler than my rest of my body my face is ridiculously pale it is a very shiny foundation very dewy i know i was saying i don't like when foundations are too shiny but i kind of like this one because although it is dewy it doesn't feel really oily on my skin like it feels very light so i guess the real test will be tomorrow when i wear it to work if it makes me really oily but i do like the shine that it gives kind of gives like that glass skin look it gives like more dimension to the face because sometimes when i put foundation on i feel like it just makes my face look really flat unless I like, contour and add blush to it too. It feels like the foundation just covers up like any color I have in my face and just makes me look like a zombie or something. <laughs> so yeah, I do like it. Since so my nose doesn't look as shiny, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of powder. This is a CoverGirl setting powder I use. Perfect. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. If you like it, if you don't like it, and you think I look like crap, <laughs> let me know. Daisy, are you nice and cozy in there? Cozy girl. I'll snuggled under the blanket. <laughs> hey guys, so I just finished making my sheen haul. I just did like the talking part where I like held up the clothes and described them. And I'm going to be doing the try on part tomorrow. Because I feel like it's way too dark in my room right now to do like a try on haul. I just would prefer natural light for that. But I like the makeup look that I did for this video. My lashes keep popping off though. It's driving me crazy. Like in the inner corners it kept popping up. I always have that issue with Ardell lashes. I prefer Kiss eyelashes actually because they seem to stay on my eyelid better. The Ardell strip lashes, I feel like they're glue repellent. Like they don't want to stick to my eyelid. Let me know if you buy Ardell lashes and have the same problem or if I'm just crazy. Anyway, right now it's 8.45 so it's pretty late. Or maybe I'm just a grandma. I don't know. But I'm probably going to work on some video editing for like the next hour or so before I go to bed. I want to try to go to bed at 10 o'clock tonight. I know I won't fall asleep that early, but I want to like actually like be in bed because I have not been getting enough sleep lately. I feel like my under eye circles have been horrible. I've also noticed that my hair has been looking really unhealthy and falling out. I feel like it's kind of been getting better recently, but if anyone has any tips for hair loss or for thin hair, because I've always had thin hair but i feel like recently it's just 
seems really thin to me and I would like to thicken it up. I feel like it might partially be from my diet because I do eat mostly plant-based. I'm technically pescatarian, which means I don't eat meat, but I eat fish because I added fish back into my diet to try to get some health benefits from it because I felt like my health was really suffering on my vegan diet because I tend to be picky with certain foods. If I eat the same thing over and over, I get grossed out by so i was eating tofu a lot and then i got sick of tofu and i just got sick of all the vegan proteins so there were a lot of days where i just wouldn't really get any protein in my diet which is really bad protein is an essential building block for your body that's why i incorporated seafood into my diet because i figured i could switch up the proteins i eat but i kind of don't eat seafood enough i'd say i eat it maybe once a week once every other week so i've been really trying to focus on getting more protein in my diet and doing different recipes so so that I don't get sick of what I'm eating. If anyone has any recommendations for like supplements or vitamins or something, if you're also vegetarian, and or even if you're not vegetarian, just if you have some hair product recommendations, I would really appreciate it because my hair has just not been looking very good, so I'll take any recommendations. I got another package in the mail today, so I'm gonna open it up. Okay, this is my shoes for my Silent Hill nurse costume. I hope they fit. Oh, they came with little inserts for the heels so that it's more comfortable. That's so cute. Okay, they're in little dust bags. Oh, these are cute, actually. I actually probably would wear these, like, not just for the costume. I feel like these are going to be really cute to wear to work or something. The brand is Ankus or Ankies. I'm going to try these on and see if they fit. Does the slipper fit? Am I Cinderella? I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> this is what they look like. Oh my goodness. They're so cute. I just took a little step in them and they feel comfortable too. So I'm really excited to wear these for my costume. I feel like they're perfect. Right, so let's get some editing done now because I'm so behind on editing. I say this in like every video, but I feel like it just takes me so long and I work full time. And I think I, I mentioned earlier, but I've been working overtime lately too. So I feel like I have no time for editing lately. And I really like making YouTube videos. So I want to prioritize like getting the editing done quickly. So hopefully I can make some good progress today. Daisy's chilling with me while I edit too. My girl. much time to talk because I want to leave for work in like five minutes. I'm, I don't know, running a little, well not running late, but I wanted to get there early and I'm just being kind of slow today. It's already 7.19 and I wanted to leave here at 7.15, so I'm trying to leave within the next five minutes or so. And my hair is a bit of a mess, but I'm just going to brush it in the car. And right now I'm going to pick out my outfit for work. It's Friday, so I have to go into the office. And yeah. Okay, so I got my outfit on. I'm wearing some of the clothes I just got from Shein from my haul. And I'm about to leave. Gotta run out the door. <laughs> okay, just a very quick outfit of the day. I'm wearing some leggings from Fabletics. I'm not allowed to wear leggings to work, but my butt is covered by this shirt, so it's fine. I have this bodysuit from Shein, which I have to cut the tag off. And then the overshirt is also from Shein. And this puffy jacket. I kind of don't like that my shirt's hanging like below my jacket, but that's fine. And please don't mind the mess in the background. I've been going through my clothes, so it kind of looks like a disaster zone back there right now. I just have to clean it up this weekend. But yeah, oh, and I got earmuffs in case I'm going to walk outside today. Right, I'm almost to work. My mom's driving me to work today. Um, it's 7.53, so a little later than I wanted, but I'll probably work till like 4.30 or maybe 5 today because I have to work overtime. Normally I would just work 8 to 4.15 though, but oh, and I got some coffee. 
It's got my cookie butter creamer that I like. day. I'm very tired. I'm going over to Sam's in a bit, but I'm really hungry, so I'm just going to cook some of this potato gnocchi that I got from Whole Foods first. And I'm also going to add some of this vegan pesto to the gnocchi from Trader Joe's. Hope it turns out good. I'm not going out tonight because I'm really tired, and also the silent disco my friends were going to is $20, so I just don't really feel like paying that much, and I'm exhausted, so I'm just gonna go out uh, with Sam tomorrow night. I don't know if anyone else will join us. appetizing but it is very good mm. I love gnocchi and pesto so win-win <laughs> 